In this video, we are going to see how the Sobel edge detector works. So we'll define the Sobel edge kernel using the NPy array function and pass these values minus 101, minus 202 and minus 101. And using our convolute image function, we, will, we are going to pass the Sobel edge detector using a stride of 1 and a size of 3. And we are going to receive the image in a edge detect image. Uh, in another operation, we'll pass the Sobel edge detector and we'll transpose it, that is, flip the kernel and see what is the effect of the flipped Sobel edge detector. So let us run this code. So as we can see in this image, uh, the edges are very sharp uh, however we can notice one thing that the edges in the horizontal direction are more sharper whereas the edges in the vertical directions are less sharper if we compare with the image we can see that all the images are equal however in this portion the horizontal edges are very clear so let us now continue the function now this is the output of the second image that is we can see that the vertical edges are more clear whereas the horizontal edges are less clear so this is the effect of the sobel edge kernel or the sobel edge detector and we can see that both these kernels have different effects and they detect different edges and in different directions.